Hi, I'm Paula Jamison. I'm coming to you from Public Media Network in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And we're here for a program on the mind-body-spirit connection. And I am very happy to have as my guest Dr. Rudy Cashman, who is from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And Dr. Rudy comes to us with this amazing background as a retired neurosurgeon and yet shares with me an interest in mind-body approaches to health and healing. And today we are going to talk about something that has a really interesting kind of odd name. And you're going to tell us about it, but it's called the sitting disease. So say a little bit about what this means. Am I doing something bad to be sitting here? Well, I mean, this is a very interesting subject, and I, I find people are just fascinated uh -huh. uh, uh, by it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just to give you a little background, I was a neurosurgeon 45 years, mm -hmm. but during this time, you know, starting over 30 years ago, I noticed uh, a lot of the patients I was seeing really uh, had a physical presentation of stress, mm -hmm. overeating, uh, bad habits, and they were not, it was lack of knowledge. They're not aware of it, so I've, I've taken a great interest uh, mm -hmm. in it. Uh, and today's uh, subject here, a sitting disease is fascinating. Uh, a lot of people don't even know uh, what, what am I talking about here. Mm -hmm. you, you know they're calling Paula. They're calling it now the new smoking. Ooh, wow. Ooh. What do you, well, what? How uh, would you diagnose uh, sitting uh, disease? Uh, exactly. And uh, what it it is <clears throat> that uh, when we uh, we're sitting a lot more, you mm -hmm. know, through technology and our jobs, you know, okay. we we mm -hmm. used to. Uh, do farming, and that, but now they study this, and, and they have found that if a person were to, s say, sit three hours, okay, okay, without getting up and moving around, okay, mm -hmm. the physical effects on the body mm -hmm. and the chronic diseases would be the same as if they smoked a pack and a half of cigarettes. Wow. Wow. And it's due to, what's the physiology of that? Well, our endothelial layer, that's the inside layer of our 300 th million miles of blood vessels mm -hmm. that we have in, mm -hmm. in, in our body, okay, uh, that the enzymatic activity goes down when you're s sitting okay. uh, and, and our body becomes inflamed. We develop a vascular disease. Mm -hmm. We develop type 2 uh, diabetes. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a reality. When a person sits, for example, you're sitting, you don't get up, you burn five, about five calories an hour. Uh -huh, okay, not much. Okay, if you would stand up and do nothing else, mm -hmm. you would burn 15. Mm -hmm. That's kind of uh, interesting. That's pretty amazing. Well, yeah. and, and from what you're saying, I, I got this image. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon yeah. me if this is yeah. way off. But you're talking about, you know, all of the materials that are being transported through all this vascular system. Yeah. And sitting slows everything down. And I had yeah. images of what it's like to be stuck in traffic. And there's all this pollution exactly. coming from these cars. And there's no way for the air to clear. Is yeah. that kind of what's happening in the body? Exactly. And, uh, and uh, you know, we in an office, we, we don't walk around. Uh -huh. The person, uh, you know, needs to get up five minutes and walk around. It, it's, uh -huh. Now they're even having uh, uh, treadmills mm -hmm. uh, with a computer at the end. They sell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The workplace is to, to increase the, the uh, 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 calorie burn. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's happening is, you know, just look at your calorie burn in, in a day. You know, how many calories that on the average that you could influence by changing your activity, okay? Uh -huh. Let's okay. say th mm -hmm. this is the total, okay? Yeah. So uh, about 60% of the calories you burn in a day are based on your basic metabolic rate. Okay. Okay, and your BMR is based on your body size. You know, if just you, at rest, If right? you're large, just at rest, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what you burn. Mm -hmm. The next 10% or so is TEF, thermic effect, uh, okay, ah. okay. And of the GI tract, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. How much energy do you use up there? Uh -huh. But let's face it, I mean, if you eat more of a nutrient-dense mm -hmm. diet, okay, the me metabolic rate is higher, and you could double that mm -hmm. uh, calorie burn to 10, 15%. Because it takes more energy to digest these nutrient-dense exactly. foods than something that doesn't have so much there's, for there's it. A okay. decent source. The BMR, you can't change that much, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, 
at, at least quickly, okay, okay. in a day's mm -hmm. time. But you can increase your TEF somewhat. Uh -huh. Now we get left about 30, 40 percent, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Ten percent of that, uh, yeah, it's our surprise. If you were to exercise regularly on a regular basis, mm -hmm. you wouldn't, would not believe this. You know, I would think, well, how many people, what percent of the people exercise regularly? I would have guessed 10, 15 percent. You know, they really studied it and followed them around. 3.5%. Yeah, not very many people really. So it's mm -hmm. almost irrelevant. You mm -hmm. know, you go to gym, work out for an hour, you're going to burn 100, 150 calories. Mm -hmm. That's fine. It's good. It gets you in the right mind. It's going to help you. Uh, but if you're depending on getting other people well, that's a toughie. Mm -hmm. So we get 30, 40%. It's called NEAT. Non-exercise activity thermogenics. Okay? okay uh -huh. NEAT activity. What does that involve? That involves uh, uh, doing the kitchen work, mm -hmm. walking the dog, mm -hmm. taking the piano lesson, uh, uh, dan dancing, mm -hmm. uh, using uh, the stairs instead of the elevator, mm -hmm. parking far away in the parking lot mm -hmm. uh, when you're going to work instead of real close. Mm -hmm. You see, this neat activity, so you can affect it. You see yeah. me? Yeah. So we can't change your BMR much. We can change the TEF, the 10%, by eating the right food, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the NEAT, you could affect tremendously. Uh -huh. So I would suggest people watching if they, uh, because a lot of them don't have the time to exercise regularly. You have three or four kids and you got a husband and you got to mm -hmm, work and mm -hmm. you got no time. Mm -hmm. But you can, you can really affect your health and your weight mm -hmm. greatly by working on the NEAT, uh -huh. okay? Get a piece of paper, get a pencil. Let's, let's give you some ideas. When the phone rings and you're getting on the phone, stand up. That mm -hmm. troubles the calorie burn right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, or walk around the kitchen while you're on the phone, or walk around the office when, you, uh, when you're uh, on, on the phone. Park your car differently, mm -hmm. use the stairs instead of uh, 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 the elevator. It's been shown, uh, take the dog for a walk, uh, go, go dancing mm -hmm. uh, with your loved one, everything mm -hmm. to increase the neat activity. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And though some of them are really little movements, they're not the big, exactly. you know, what we think of as aerobic exercise. Ex exactly. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, and, and even maybe on the phone a lot, maybe have a light weight in the right hand. Uh -huh. Some people do it driving a car. Uh -huh. Not that I suggest yeah, maybe that. Maybe not so good, yeah. We're not going to suggest that, but, yeah. but uh, uh, when the car stopped, uh -huh. you could, if you're in a big city, get the lights all the time. When the car stopped, what they'll do is, grab the wheel with both hands uh -huh. and tense the muscles. And you just mean? kind of do that yeah, sort yeah. of isometric kind of thing. Yeah. Here's, here's one that'll make you fall off the chair. If you can increase your neat, your neat activity, say 200 calories, mm -hmm. you know what that is in a, in, in a year? That's a lot of calories. 3,500 divided by 200, 365 days a year, 20 pounds. Wow. Yeah. You get the point? Yeah. Ten, ten. Well, That's without changing anything else. And, you know, this kind of feeds in with, I mean, this is sort of something I remember hearing growing up, too, that, you know, people who would fidget a lot, yeah. just kind of restless fidgeting. Yeah. That, that, burn that, that, that burns a lot of calories. That yeah. burns a lot, yeah. a lot of uh, yeah. calories. Yeah. So make a list, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I want to be 20 pounds lighter without changing anything else and say eat a little more nutrient dense mm -hmm. and inc increase your NEAT 100 or 200 calories. Mm -hmm. You're knocked off 20 pounds. Wow. wow. And, and if you've got a major problem, uh, uh, but, but that's mm -hmm. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And try to increase it. Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. A bit more. Now, have you um, done any work with people where you've had them wear a pedometer and sort of keep oh, track yes. of how many steps? Can you yeah. say something about that? Yeah, that's, too? that's interesting. A, a, um, an Amish person will take 18,000 steps a day. Wow. The male. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, woman, 14,000 steps a day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, on the average, uh, uh, rest of us Americans take about... 5,000 steps wow. a day. So yeah. I visited an Amish farm recently because mm -hmm. I'm interested in other cultures. Sure. I praised a lady for a brain tumor and I said, I'll go pull your stitches, mm -hmm. which I'll make a house call, which is amazement. So they had <laughs> 50 Amish there serving me lunch and I'm pulling her stitches. Oh, wonderful. Yes, actually have. Actually have. And, uh, and, and I'll be honest with you, the food that they served me, not very good. Mm -hmm. It was mashed potato, that's sugar. 
mm -hmm. sugary pie, butter. Heavy food. And, and, and the butter was so delicious and full of salt, uh -huh. okay, and, 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 and white bread, uh -huh. and, the, and the chicken was so fat I could barely eat it, but they all walked in, 50 of them, they all know my weight. Yeah. yeah. And you know the answer. They're yeah, actually, moving their bodies, aren't they? 2,500 cows a day just based on neat activity. Wow. That's been yeah. studied. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, on on uh, neat, uh, just on neat mm -hmm. activity. The neighbor lady who I get the phone from, because they don't have a phone, I called her. Mm -hmm. says, you want to meet me? I said, yeah, come to lunch. Mm -hmm. So she came to lunch. Uh, uh, and who ate, who ate their food but didn't do their work, uh -huh. had a significant problem. Type 2 yeah. diabetic. Uh -huh. Instinct study. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've uh -huh. re repeated that. So you can eat bad food. Mm -hmm. But if you exercise like a dog, you can mm -hmm. get away with it. it. And the neat activity is affected by work, okay? Mm -hmm. If you're a factory worker or you're cutting lawns and things like that, climbing trees, mm -hmm. your neat activity burn goes up. Mm -hmm. You can afford to eat a little mm -hmm. differently or you're trying to lose weight. You see the point? Mm -hmm. So I, Well, and even yeah. somebody, I would think then, you know, if you're on your feet... A yeah. lot. I mean, I'm thinking of some yeah. waitresses who work enormously. Oh, yeah. I was hard. thinking of the lady who was cutting my hair. Uh huh. Yeah. Standing versus sitting. Yeah. She's standing there all day long, using her arms, and, and I was with her trying to calculate out her neat calorie burn mm -hmm. in a day as a hairdresser. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And uh, if you increase your neat, you could, the calorie burn could be a thousand to two thousand different. Mm -hmm. I, I bet somebody cuts hair. It's mm -hmm. close to 2,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're walking around. They're going sure, to cash register, sure. stand, moving around the chair, using mm -hmm. their arms, talking. Mm -hmm. And a uh, matter of fact, a uh, movement of the mouth uh, burns a, a, a lot of uh, calories. If you chew gum, mm -hmm. uh, you chew gum for an hour, you uh, uh, burn like 50 calories. Whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was an Who unusual knew? number. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, it was yeah. A, I saw uh -huh. it in this book uh -huh. uh, I was reading. It. Yeah. I mean, it's the highest 50, but it's more than uh -huh. standing. Mm -hmm. it, it's around th maybe 30 or so. Well, let's talk about some of the problematic things because we've got people whose jobs kind yeah. of lock them into a chair for yeah. hours and hours at a time. Or I think of people that are on long-distance flights, for example, oh, yeah. and we talk about all the problems with things like deep deep th vein thrombosis, getting a blood clot in your leg because you're sitting and not moving around, Absolutely. and the airlines don't really encourage you to get up and yeah, stand I much. I so what kinds of things can we do to sort of you, shift I mean, that? I mean, this, this is uh, uh, excellent, especially this deep vein thrombosis where veins clot off because of a sitting, mm -hmm. that they're not moving because our arterial system is, is pressure. Mm -hmm. But veins get pressure of 10 or so, mm -hmm. so you got to get up and move. Mm -hmm. but, but if you're sitting there, if I, I was going to fly to Tokyo, for example, I think I carry a little bit of, maybe use a book, but carry a light weight of some kind mm -hmm. in your bag, and you sit there and, 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 and do some biceps mm -hmm. curls and, and mm -hmm. things. And, well, and, and a and lot uh, of the flight magazines yeah. now have little exercises. And exercise for uh, things. Yeah. I, I would do that, improve your knee activity. Uh -huh. and as soon as you get to a hotel, start doing Mm -hmm. Doing something, I think, is uh, 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 very important, especially housewives mm -hmm. uh, uh, also at home. They can stand up when they're doing the dishes and doing the cooking, in mm -hmm. increase if they want to lose 15 pounds or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you burn extra 100 calories a day, that's 10 pounds, uh, you know, uh, uh, in a year. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it, a book was written about this, the uh, name is Love, <laughs> from the Mayo Clinic, uh, uh -huh. wrote this on sitting disease years ago. People are not paying a lot of attention to mm -hmm. it yet. But that's an easy path to, to uh, losing a, a few pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, especially, I think, increasing your TEF mm -hmm. by eating the right food. Mm -hmm. I noticed that the other night after coming off this cruise, we get home, ate a, a, a vegetable stew and a vegetable salad uh, and, uh, and some Ezekiel bread with vegetables mm -hmm, on it. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and uh, uh, we noticed the next day we both lost a pound. Well, and I want to. It was a thermic effect of, of eating. Of eating, and I want to yeah. take this back to the sort of big picture, this whole mind-body yeah. connection, because yeah. these things are really, as we both, you and I both yeah. believe, are yeah. really interrelated. What would be some of the sort of mental and emotional effects of perhaps getting more of this, these small movements, this puttering around? Could you talk about that? Well, I think you have to be conscious consciously about it, you know uh -huh, what I mean? Uh -huh. You literally, I think, uh, have to bring the word love up almost 
that that uh -huh. that uh, that you have love for yourself, love for your family, love with the universe. That you want to be well. That, ah, that, 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 yeah. that you want okay. to be well, uh -huh. and that you're using the neurotransmitters and hormones and neuropeptides of your brain to feed your body to make uh -huh. you healthy. Uh -huh. uh, but it, it has to be a, a thought process. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That this is the way we lead our life. This is we teach our children to cook, for for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. Uh, and maybe sometimes wait for the husband to come home to have him be part of the cooking process mm -hmm. so that he gets the attitude. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That it becomes sort of a spiritual uh, mindset thing in your family mm -hmm. that you're connecting your thought process, not just with your eating, but with your general health. Mm -hmm. and, and, and don't delude yourself or be in denial. And, and my whole family has type 2 diabetes. I can't escape this. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Wrong. Mm -hmm. As a mindset, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not a ge genetic problem. Most diseases are not genetic. Some people think that most of the diseases we're seeing as physicians are genetic. Wrong. Uh -huh. They're wrong. Uh, our t telomeres, our extensions of our chromosomes, can be changed by our environment, mm -hmm. uh, by what we eat, by toxins we're exposed to. You can affect your gene structure. Mm. Uh, and by what yeah. we do or don't do, it By what you like. do and what you don't do. Right, You can affect right. the baby uh -huh. that's being born. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and your habits will be passed on to other generations. Mm -hmm. That's been scientifically proven, mm -hmm. to, uh, which, uh, you know, many people are not, not really aware of. It's something yeah. called epigenetics, uh -huh. how you can change your chromosome structures to what you eat, how you think, how you... Uh, uh, exercise. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So to increase your non-exercise activity thermogenics, I think that's the secret. Make a list. Get a, mm -hmm. a piece of paper. You see, this is what I'm going to mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. to improve that. And if you happen to have an overweight child, which some of us mm -hmm. have, and, uh, and, and even in my family, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and uh, to get that child to uh, move a bit more mm -hmm. by trying to figure out their neat activity. You know, mm -hmm. don't have to call it that, but uh, Mm -hmm. Honey, how about taking a tennis lesson? Uh, well, let's go to the gym and work out. Uh, uh, let's make it fun. And, and, and fun. Pick an exercise yeah. that's fun. Let's when If you fun. pick something that's fun, we're more likely to do it. Our uh -huh. children are much mm -hmm. more likely to do it. So mm -hmm. we're really connecting the mind and the body to your uh, uh, good health. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are not just our x-ray. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. We're not yeah. just our x-ray. Uh, we are a symphony of mm -hmm. interaction, a rainbow of interaction of hormones and neuropeptides, mm -hmm. and our food has tremendous effects on us mm -hmm. in our, our GI tract. 40% mm -hmm. of our immunity is located in our gut. Mm -hmm. Gershon mm -hmm. wrote a book uh, uh, called The Second Brain. Our second brain is in our gut. gut. Yeah. There's a lot going on down There's there. There's a lot going on. 40% uh -huh. of our lymphatic system is one layer be below the mucosa of our gut. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. your Army, Navy, Air Force that defends your body. Keeping us from harm in a way. Keeping you yeah. from, from harm. Yeah, yeah. So I think, you know, it's, it, we need to uh, attain uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, and one of the things, and you've, you've alluded to it, and I, and I think really you kind of just mm -hmm. embody it, is um, finding joy in this, too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I was talking to a friend the other day who does a lot. He's yeah. very, very physically active. Yeah. And somebody said, well, you know, how much exercise do you get? And he said, I don't get exercise. I do things that are fun, and they happen to be very active. Oh, I love those and words. And I thought, that is really I mean, I love those great. words. You, you, know. you know what I mean? If you can figure out something like that. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. even taking a walk. Now I have a little more time being a uh -huh. wellness doctor uh -huh. in, in, in Fort Wayne. I walk a half hour every morning whenever mm -hmm. I can. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in, and it's mindful because I'm paying attention to the wildlife around me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get excited. Uh, I, I, I made it. I, I'm bird watching now. Oh, how I wonderful! I carry glasses with me, you know, and I, uh -huh. I, I have a red bird. I think speaking to me. You know, I've learned the whistle. You know, I mm -hmm. tweet, tweet, and he mm -hmm. follows me through the trees because mm -hmm. I've learned the sound. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, so I have a mm -hmm. book on the sounds. Yeah. And I just listen to it. Uh, it. Probably in a few weeks there'll be black, black, red -winged red -winged black bird. blackbirds. Which are territorial. I've heard my first one already. And they, 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 they were last year were following me around and uh, and and look, be mind, look at the plants. Mm -hmm. Look, you see how symmetrical they are. Remember, uh -huh. I spoke uh, on a, a previous thing here about the symmetry that I, in plants. And when you look at them, I mean, they get 
the leaves. Look at the size. Of, that's that's mathematical. Mm -hmm. That's biomathematics mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. plants. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you eat a plant diet, that mathematics is applied to your body. It will rearrange mm -hmm. your body. That's the good news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not just what we inherited. Mm -hmm. We can literally change ourselves by what we eat, mm -hmm. by how we think, mm -hmm. and, and to control stress uh, yeah. to become, yeah. that we don't uh, uh, lead it, uh, think of everything is gonna, bad gonna happen to us. You right. know, and, and, and I rec that's the reason I recommend music and dancing mm -hmm. and, and, and no matter what the situation. And, and what you're talking about, too, because, I mean, people talk about sort of the healing power of being in nature. Yeah. And that's something, I mean, you're just, you really are kind yeah. of conveying that. Yeah. And I know that's a concern, you know, for a lot of people in today's world, too, because there are so many kids growing up where they don't walk to school anymore, they're, you know, there's not much yeah. sunlight coming through the windows because they boarded up all the windows yeah. to save money on heating in yeah. the schools. And, and so that seems to require some conscious effort on all of our parts. Absolutely. When I take my walks in the morning, I'm in, you know, a neighborhood, not an apartment, not own houses. Mm -hmm. You know how often I meet somebody walking? It Almost is rare. Almost never. Yeah. 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 I actually, one of the vacations where I did meet somebody, and they were from Michigan, <laughs> from way up north in oh, Michigan. Wow. Uh -huh. They were used to doing that. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I noticed that every day, she was there for about a week, that she would uh, try to catch me when I took my walk, because we were talking mind-body stuff. Oh, how nice. Yeah, uh -huh. From Traverse City. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's oh, Traverse yes, City, a part real of the Deister group. family, well-known uh -huh. manufacturing people. Uh -huh. and, uh, and she, uh, <laughs> because that was you know exciting to us, but we we were looking at the birds and mm -hmm. and the animals and and uh, uh, actually I hate to admit it I got a woodchuck living under my house. Uh oh, <laughs> I can't bear to kill him. Oh, house. I know, I know. I, have fun. Have love, fun. you know, it's love. Yeah, yeah. But 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 it's easy to say uh, love, but love is action. Mm -hmm. You know, to consider the life of the animals and mm -hmm. and uh, some relationship to them, but it makes us uh, uh, feel good. Yeah, and, I, and you're bringing this into the whole, I mean, we're not just talking about sort of body, mind, spirit in this kind of, it's just yeah. in me, it's in us in this huge world that we inhabit, and, and being somehow in tune with that and respecting exactly. it. Exactly. You know what a good habit is when you get outside, first thing, look up. Uh-huh. That'll get you to relate to the universe. You That's know kind I mean? of like a Native American thing, you isn't know what it? I mean? Yes, look up. yeah. Look, look up yeah, a minute. Uh -huh. And if at night, uh, uh, you know, look at the stars, and when you start reading about these things and seeing it yourself, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you know, that would make wars go away. You know, if two guys mm -hmm. are having a big fight arguing with each other, I said, mm -hmm. why don't you both look up a minute? <laughs> yeah, just sort of. <laughs> you begin to realize, what are we doing? Stop, yeah. look, yeah. listen, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh -huh. I mean, what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's more. Uh -huh. uh, wh how we live in this universe, I think, is a lot more mm -hmm. uh, important mm -hmm. uh, than to just focus on just ourselves. You, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh -huh. That gets rid of stress too. Yes. And uh, so, sitting disease uh, really uh, uh, is something people are not aware of, mm -hmm. and I think you have to pay attention to it. You mm -hmm. know, and and uh, and if you if that's what's demanded of you, at least stand up. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, some of you meant it to change that enzymatic. Remember, I talked about the enzymes in the endothelium yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. that, that uh, result in disease. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, sitting three hours, not moving, that's like smoking a pack and have a cigarette. Right, right. Wow, that's scary. That is scary, yeah. So we, ne we need to uh, do some. Even you can, you know, at your desk, you can do some weightlifting mm -hmm. there and stand. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you stand on one leg and just go up and down, that's one of the toughest exercises there is. And for, that would be great for your balance, Yeah, I, I do that all the time. Uh -huh. Because and that's I, something else, I mean, we didn't really talk specifically yeah. about how important balance is. Oh, I, I, yeah. thank you for bringing this up, because if we get a day older, we get a little bit of balance. Mm -hmm. But if you can learn, say, do one leg, leg stance, you know, uh -huh. some people tell me, I can't exercise, I got this, that, and the other. Well, uh, then stand and dance, dance in place. Mm -hmm. or, or, or just do one-legged quads while holding on. You can uh -huh. lean, lean on something and go up and down, and then mm -hmm. do the other one. You know, that really, I also highly recommend Core. That's the middle muscles here, okay, yes. especially, especially uh, for women, mm -hmm. uh, because they have a lot of uh, problems over the years. A lot of that is because they did not strengthen the core. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
you know, other people mm -hmm. spilling things down there over the years. And I found in patients that I taught the core to, mm -hmm. you know, you just go to YouTube core. You, right. you there, come up there, I can do about 20 of them now. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, uh, and I have them uh, memorized. And, 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 and it, it may be stronger down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I highly recommend that because a lot of people have problems here, you know, mm -hmm. with, with, with the pelvic mm -hmm. uh, things. Mm -hmm. and, and to strengthen those, I think that uh, a person, sh frankly, should do them all the time. Every day, uh -huh. five minutes, uh -huh. do core. You know, yes. back and forth, and you can wow. learn them. YouTube core. Well, as we wrap up again, these, these yeah. talks go so fast. Um, what, what would be your number one recommendation for people to combat sitting disease? Uh, number one is start moving. Figure, uh, number one is I get a piece of paper and a pencil, and you figure out non-exercise activity, need activity you could do to improve your life. That and, wouldn't be yeah. overdoing it in any way. Exactly. Right. And you can pick, you, know, you, you could probably name a hundred things, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And figure out what applies in your life, uh -huh. you, you know what I mean? That you can do to Im improve that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're uh, uh, at work, for example, if, that, if you can walk at work, for example, now that'd be a cheap way to do it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I used to take the stairs. You know, yeah. you, 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 you got to have a water. Don't, don't have a can right by you. Have it down the hall. Go down there and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, something and, and, and make it a distinct effort uh, to figure out what a neat activity is. And then maybe change your eating pattern a little bit to a more nutrient-dense way of eating because uh -huh. you increase your calorie burn, your TEF, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and, and, of course, physical exercise has, uh, has value. If you're not doing it at all, they can maybe increase your calorie burn. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you go on a treadmill for an hour and you go like a dog. You can do a lot of calories, but most of us don't have the time, uh -huh. uh, inclination. Uh, uh, but the few that do it, that increases it too. But the yes. neat is the easiest thing that anybody could do. And, and, I, and I make a list, put it right in your roof fridge, and then look at the, the children, the husband, and everybody, and you'll make everybody healthier. This is so helpful, Dr. Rudy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm sure our viewers will appreciate it, too. You're leaving us with some wonderful information. Thank you so much. I'm Paula Jamison coming to you from Public Media Network in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.